Hi, I'm Alan R. This is Motor Matters. A little bit of a different video today because actually this was Leadfoot's test car for a change, <laughs> which Hello I everyone. stole you from him. You can see me in the background. <laughs> I stole his test car for a day or so this time round. You know what it is, of course, Jeep Gladiator. We were both on the launch together. We both did video on the launch. This thing is a brute. There's just no other word for it. It's big, it's rough, it's tough. It makes a statement. This thing gets more attention from people on the road than most other cars I've driven in a long time. But I'm gonna start off with what I hate about this car. Huh. I've got okay. to show you. <laughs> Tell us how you feel. Okay, come on. What I hate about this car, and if you think I have a problem, my wife has much more. I'm not climbing Killy or Mount Everest every time I need <laughs> to get in. And quite honestly, getting in is bad enough. Getting out, what's it, a suicide leap? <laughs> That's got to be one of these crazy things about this car. It just needs a step there. It needs the much lower step, but then, of course, it would compromise its 4x4 ability. Well, so you pick and you choose, don't you? I tell you, there's... But no. wow, what a vehicle. We're not going to discuss fuel consumption right now. Dirty word. You know the old saying, if you're, if you're that worried about the fuel consumption, you can't afford the car? This is the classic example of that issue. It defines it. It does, absolutely. But wow. One other thing I want to just show you as well. Very interesting. This particular one's got this nice hard cover. Come standard. Okay, on the back. You can flip it up. But we... And you can remove it. Yeah, yeah, sure. But we put a small load in last night. And we had, you know, these crates that you carry stuff in? Do you know that a standard crate is too high? I know. Yeah, to fit in here with it. So in other words, you can't secure it in here. Listen, it's not an issue. You know it. It's not a very deep load buck. That's all it is. But then again, take this off, put your motorbikes on the back, which is what it was actually designed to do. And soft touch open. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Something else. <laughs> Something else I did pick up just now. It does also lock on the central locking. It does. Some do, some don't, some as we know. No, that's a nice touch. Good feature as well. I like it. I'm going to hand over to you. I've driven it for a day. You drove it for the rest of the test period. Let me show you what Let's I found. Let's see what you think and what you found, and then we'll talk of it. Let me show you this car. There's some stuff I've discovered. Yeah. So... When you open the, uh, the, the back seat yeah, and yeah. You drop it down, you've got a removable Bluetooth speaker yeah, that here. That we didn't discover, that we know from the don't, launch. Don't, don't take it out because mm. getting it back in is, 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 is fun a pain in the yard. Yeah, yeah. But you can, you can get it back in, yeah. it's there. Mm -hmm. The thumping sound system in this car right. is incredible. Yeah, it has yeah. these down firing 6x9s, which is. A, now, that is exactly your forte. It's, right? it's a flashback to, mm. our, to, our, to our misfit youth when we were much younger. And it's got subs in the, uh, behind, behind the seats. Yeah. The other thing that I found mm. is you've got your toolkit under there. A whole bunch of storage space here. Yeah. Okay. So it's not a lot, mm. but there's stuff that you can put in there, which mm -hmm. is which is kind of cool, and it extends on both sides. Yeah. And if you go to the other side, inside there is your mm. little toolkit. While he's messing around, let me show you electric window controls over there. Yeah, aircon, aircon, etc., etc., etc. But no, no USBs in the back. Um, I didn't find any, mm -hmm. but uh, didn't really worry me yeah. too much because I'm not really cared about mm. that. Here's your little toolkit that you open up with a little ratchet spanner and things yeah. that you use to take the doors off. Yeah. So taking the doors off on this thing because mm. you can take the doors off is you remove the panel, right? Undo the cable harness protector mm -hmm. thing, undo that, lift off, done. Okay, now. Let me, let me just say something I don't know what you viewers. do with the doors once you've taken you them off. You leave them in your garage. <laughs> you leave them in your garage. Yeah. When and we get this vehicle back next month on my test rotation... We're going to take everything off. We are taking everything off. Everything off. Your responsibility all to coming put, off. And you putting it back. Am I putting it back on? Yes. Just whilst we're here, the, mm. roof, the, roof, the roof snaps off just by those little handles here on the front. Yeah, haven't in three out, sections. Yeah, I haven't worked out how the... How the how the back section comes off yet, okay, but uh, yeah. we'll, we'll figure that out it when does. we get there. It does. Mm. So basically, the car literally becomes a beach buggy with a roll bar, the being the the center thing yeah. and the front. So you're in a roll cage, which is quite nice. Well, and remember that not only do the doors come off, you can actually drop the windscreen flat as well. And you drop the, the windshield front. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is what those two 
two rubber things Correct. in the bonnet are actually yeah. for. Let's go to the front of the car where there's more toys. And I think, you know, you, you touched on something, Al. You yeah. touched upon the, the, the 4x4 capabilities mm. of the car. Mm. So here we go. Yeah. That is chunky and you have to yank yeah, it no, to no, make no, no, it but work. Hang on, hang on. Okay, you do. Which is but, lacquer. But excuse me for one moment. I showed this at the launch. Yes. Even this vehicle, 80% of them are never going to use that second gear lever you're and engage. You're preempting what I was about to say. Okay. Do you know, no, but do you know why it's there? Do you know why it's for there? your hat? Look at that. <laughs> yes. There you go. So, no, Very few manufacturers provide a hat stand for me. So I think what they should do mm -hmm. is on version two of this bucky, is take away your hat stand. No. Take away the four by four. Mm. Drop the price by three hundred grand because this thing will pose itself quite happily on the sand and pavements and will never go off road, and that's the bucky they're going to sell. Thousands of. They already can't get enough of them. I, and I, you know, I was skeptical of this thing at the launch. I think I said so. You weren't skeptical. Uh, <laughs> you trashed it at the launch. Uh, I have changed my mind 180 degrees. <laughs> nice big, decent size uh, load, load, load bin here for your, yeah. for your drinks and things, and a USB mm. in there. Okay. And you've got good. your USBs up front, yeah. which yeah. is hidden under your media thing. Mm. You've got your auxes, which which Jeep have thought about, where you can put your spotlights on. So you can put your spotlights on AUX1, you could put some more spotlights on AUX2. If you're concerned, you can have some spotlights on AUX3 and a winch on AUX4. Okay, so they've thought of everything. They've thought of everything. Dash, functional, I mm. love this red brushed aluminium. Yeah, it's not it looks everybody good. else's no, taste. No. I think it's great. It's not as garish as a lot of the red you get on other cars these days. And I think it's going to wear well. Mm. I think it's going to age yep. this vehicle appropriately. Um, Eight-speed box is there. It yeah. works. Doesn't, doesn't really matter. You've got 210 kilowatts, 300. And is it a 440 newton? 440 newton yeah. meters. Whatever. It's not. It's not a thumping V8 with twin no, turbos no, in no. there. And I like that. I must I also like tell that. you, coming through to you now on the highway, it's it's, it's noisy. One, yeah, yeah, yeah. But 110 is <laughs> nice. 120 is even. Maybe hey, 130, back off. 130, 130. You're not doing it, especially with those tires. I mean, the car. The car, I don't and know. then you watch the fuel gauge anyway. And and you watch the fuel gauge. And I, I, I hit some wet, wet mm -hmm. road in yeah. these tires and, and then grip becomes optional. It's not a it's not yeah. a thing on, on, on top. But the other thing about it is and it's a damn sight better than the previous generation Wrangler I drove. Yes. Is you've still got that very little bit of play and floatiness on the steering wheel, shall I call it, when you're cruising along on the highway. It's the tires. As soon yeah. as you change the tires, yeah. I think you'll have a completely different 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 animal. I want to look under the bonnet mm -hmm. here because we never look under the bonnet in these things. But I want to show yes, you. Yes, hold on. We never show you under the bonnet. So no, here, have no. a look under the bonnet. Okay. This bloody great big V6 thing is a chunk of metal, mm -hmm. but there's actually more room so that they can get that 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 V8 five liter V8 or whatever it is that they've got the overseas. Five point seven. Five point seven. Hemi. Hemi. I mean, you've oh. got to call, give it a proper can name. You, can you imagine that in this car? I, I, I actually don't want to. I think no, it but might, hang on. It might ruin my love affair with no, this you, thing. No, if you if you get that version, it comes standard with a trailer behind. The trailer <laughs> is the actually fuel. a fuel tank. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I can believe it. But you can tell quality of the construction of yeah. the vehicle by looking at the engine bay. And if you just look at the way they've done the hydraulics in this car, it is yep. up there. Mm. It's up out of the way. It's never going to get anything up, coming from underneath the car, causing, causing, causing havoc. So you're not going to be driving along one day and all of a sudden go over a rock and lose your hydraulics. No, it's no. thinking like that. That's gone into the. It's gone, right gone up into top, the out the way, all done. Exactly. Allowed Nicely for done. Mm. The bonnet weighs a ton, which is good. It means it's well, solid. Like the rest of the vehicle. 2.3 tons to be precise. Okay, there um, you go. That is a substantial chunk of change. And then these are for when you fold your, yeah, your, yeah. your roof forward, as you can see. Or if someone wants to ride on the bottom and hang on. you got hinges on there. Well, you know, we have relatives up from the Eastern Cape, and I said that's what mm -hmm. the load bin is good for. A couple of them, and, uh, you know, sort of away we go. And you're really popular as usual. As usual. But look at these tires. Uh, we are talking about them. I mean, these are proper off-road yeah. spec chunks of rubber attached to a Well, remember that this is standard Rubicon spec. Yes. Now, we in want to deep speak, that means... Trail rated. Yeah, the trail yeah. rated as well. But already, 
Rubicon means full off-road spec That's in it. Jeep speak. So this is that version. And and if you if, yeah. you, if you if you poke your poke your head underneath, mm -hmm. you can see the shocks, yeah. the, the Fox shocks the Fox, that are that yeah, are on yeah. there with a little bit of a Jeep right. yeah. Jeep brand so on it. Look, I have to say the ride is surprisingly comfortable. I am impressed. I've got no complaints about the ride. I did mainly a bit of freeway. Also clever. Mm -hmm. Fiberglass. Okay. So, what's going to break if you ever hit anything on these? That. Yeah. Make it easy to replace. It would it's, be it's even it's more funny if they made thing. those that you could actually just clip those off too, you know. Uh, yeah. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> the full naked version of, of, oh, of, yeah. of Jeep. And I have to say, as, as far as rims go, I'm never generally a rims guy. But I like these. Mm. They just look, they fit the, no, they fit sure. the vehicle. So okay. I've, gone, I've gone 180 degrees on this car. I've gone from very skeptical about you it were? being a 1.3 million rand barky. To it's not 1.3, it's 1.269, well, last I heard. you got to fill, yeah. it, up, you gotta fill it up, Alan. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the, 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 mm. thing the thing with it is now that it's gone from expensive bucky to reasonably priced toy because it is it, it's so lovable. The and thing and the, 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 the little touches that they put into this vehicle just make it for me. I Look, think it's, it's unique. It's got, we yeah. can't show it now, but for example, it's got the little slots for the front wheels of two motorbikes on the back. It's um, got all those kind of see things. It's actually got internal lighting in your load yes, bay. Yes, it has. And the other thing mm. that it's also got going for it that uh, struck me that I've forgotten to mention is obviously the sound system we love, but it's got all these little touches in it. So you've got little clips on your, on your visors for your, for your driver's license. So you don't mm. need to carry a wallet in this car. It's, it's, it's no, uh, well, you, you do, do need, need to, yeah, you, or, or, or a petrol <laughs> card at the very least. Maybe yeah. that's, that's it's not, not for your driver's license, it's for your petrol card. <laughs> um, we do hop on about, the, yeah. a bit about that. But it's, you know, the vehicle itself, I think, I can understand why Jeep have now sold every single one that they've got com coming into the country and the waiting list is now extensive. Absolutely. Because it is unique. There's nothing. I heard three months, it's probably more by now. It's probably more by now. It's, it's a beautiful vehicle. And there is just nothing else on the market like it like it yeah it it's is it. totally and utterly unique in its own little segment yeah which is amazing so we take it on the road quick let's take a very quick ride okay we'll show you what it's like you're the absolute clarity, clarity of, the, of the screen yeah yeah it's, first it's class. one of the be better ones i've seen i have to tell you that it's much. first class so just that you've seen okay we're on the road for a bit just a short drive because look we can't afford any more fuel. Look, <laughs> look at all this headroom. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, it's a bit disconcerting when you hear the tap on the on the fiberglass. Yeah. You, but anyway, and, and, and I think that's what contributes a little bit to the road noise and wind yeah. noise that you get coming into the cabin. Of course, but it could be interesting when it's pouring with rain. You know, it's one of those things that I actually I, I looked at all the rubbers mm. and the seals on this car yeah. and they're pretty good. Mm. So I don't think it's going to leak. It's not no, like no, no, I don't mean that. I'm just talking about sound effects. Not like, well, yeah, it could yeah. be actually. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Tin, tin roof type, type, type yeah. effect. Um, mm. I noticed I noticed you got the average down from when I gave it to yeah. you 13.3 mm. to 13.2. It actually was on 13.1 as I came around the corner to your house of and then went back. Of course it was, Alan. No, of course it was. was. It was. And, and, and did you see mm. the lifetime average on the vehicle? No. Sitting at 14.6. Is it? Oh, okay. So you and I have done very well in terms of our fuel yeah. consumption. No, for sure. Ride quality mm. on this car is outstanding it's for surprise. what it is. Uh, yeah, okay. There's it's a bit comfortable. Of no, no. I mean, it's competitive with many, many vehicles you get. I, I have it's to not like... Uh, I'll, I'll have to go back to the previous generation Wrangler. Sure. That was really I didn't want to live with. Oh, really? No, no. This, this, yeah. this I could live with. I, you know, that, that is what fascinates me about this thing. I commented, the, yeah, I was yeah. commenting that mm -hmm. I thought you, it would mm -hmm. be hard to daily. Yeah. Aside from the fuel bowl, mm -hmm. you could actually daily this yeah. thing. I, I was going to say, you know, we've driven a few cars lately. You get used to it. I've said, you know, no way daily, weekend special. Yes. This one should be weekend special, but yet it could be daily. Exactly. If you owned one and drove it daily, yeah, yeah. I actually mm. wouldn't label you as insane, which I did before. Mm. I had it for a week, um, and I take yeah. that back. I'm going to now just reverse up the okay. door a little you bit. You just down. make it very difficult for me to form. You so realize that. So I just do that for you. I know. Um, and, and we have a couple of turning circles around here, but mm. I just I tend to drive over them because well, you can. Yeah, but besides the that, car doesn't even look, notice it. It's not obviously not exactly the easiest, most agile car to turn round the, corners. The and turning circle is what about 34, 50 meters? Something stupid. 100 like that, meters. Yeah. Listen mm. carefully now. Yeah. 120 mm. million mm. 
two meters yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, no. It's, it's, it's <laughs> the turning circle is you need to you need to understand that the quality of the of the rear view camera is very very good the, in fact yeah. the whole digital display mm. is excellent um because you're going to be using it a lot when you're getting in and out of yeah. parking spaces and the in other and out of spaces yeah. i must tell you parking <laughs> in a shopping center yesterday no that's a challenge with the nose virtually hitting the front it was still sticking out at the back. It's a challenge. The thing uh, is, how long is it? It's isn't it 5.4, I think? Uh, it's, I think it may be a little bit longer than that, mm. even. It's Something crazy like that. It's massive. It's, 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 but it's, it's meant to be. It's a statement, it's yeah. a statement vehicle. Mm. It's a mm. statement vehicle. I mean, it's now, just don't one of those drive things. over the speed at that circle thing, you... <laughs> oh, yeah. did, you did you even notice that? Yes, I did, because the camera nearly went flying. Oh, well, there we go. But uh, the... The overall thing on this car is I love it mm. um, and and it's comfortable okay we don't have electric seats yeah okay that's a small mm. minor mm. little yeah, niggle yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't really phase me once at I the set money the though seat, it is weird not to have once I set the seats I'm mm. done I'm happy I'm a happy yeah. guy and as I say I think it would be interesting if they brought this thing out without 4x4 full mode just a standard I don't know I think it kind of standard I city, think it would actually city, be doing city, a disservice. City light version. It probably mm, would be. Yeah. But, yeah. I think it would spoil it. I'd love to know how many people are actually going yeah. to ever... Well, ever, but they can't take away my hat stand anyway. Ever engage so. it. It's... Yeah. Anyway. Two thumbs up. Four thumbs up. Done. Done. For Motor Matters, I'm behind the camera for a change because Leadfoot wanted to hog the camera <laughs> limelight for once. No, he just wanted to drive the vehicle. Yeah, that Again. too. <laughs> I'm Eleanor. You'll see me next time because it's enough of him. <laughs>